XDR is a holistic detection and response solution that goes beyond the endpoint to remove silos of visibilities. It leverages on advanced analytics like artificial intelligence and big data analytics as well as Trend Micro's extensive smart protection network to provide more detections and faster response. Unlike its predecessor, the Endpoint Detection and Response, XDR doesn't focus on endpoint detection alone. Instead, it enables security teams to detect, investigate, and respond to threats across multiple layers of security including that of email, server, cloud workloads, and network layers. A component of XDR capable of integrating with the endpoints and server security layer is Apex One Endpoint Security. This is the first in this video series on integrating Apex One with Trend Micro XDR. For this guide, we'll be showing you how to set up Active Directory integration with Apex One as a service. Trend Micro Apex One protection provides advanced automated threat detection and response against growing variety of threats. It consists a cross-generational blend of modern techniques, including pre-execution and runtime machine learning, accurate detection of advanced malware, while minimizing false positives and makes it a highly tuned endpoint protection that maximizes performance and effectiveness. It is also important to have a properly configured environment for managing our endpoints through Trend Micro Apex One. Now to begin, log in to your CLP account and open the Apex One as a service console. Then navigate to Administration, Settings, and select Active Directory and Compliance Settings. Under the Active Directory Settings tab, enable Active Directory Synchronization. Then click on Download the Active Directory Synchronization tool. Each download will generate a unique tool that will be paired with Apex One. If you download the tool again, Apex One will remove the relation from the previous tool and will always pair with the latest tool. Additionally, AD Sync Tool connects to Apex Central as a service via port 443. To avoid any issues, port 443 outgoing towards the Apex Central server should be open for communication. Once the tool has been downloaded, copy the tool to a machine that has a direct connection with the Active Directory server. Extract the tool on a permanent directory since we will also be creating a scheduled task later. After the tool has been extracted, open command prompt as an administrator and go to the directory of the AD Sync tool. Then run the command adsyncagenttool.exe space dash i to begin configuring Active Directory server settings and press enter. Next, specify the FQDN or IP address of your Active Directory and press enter. Then, specify the domain and username that will be used to access the server. Make sure that the account has the required privileges. And finally, enter the password for the account. Then, press Enter. The tool will ask you if you wish to configure more settings, but for this demo, we will be skipping other settings and advanced settings, so press N to exit. Now that the Active Directory server configuration is successful, we can now start to synchronize our Apex One with the Active Directory. To synchronize Active Directory with Apex One, run the command adsyncagenttool.exe space dash s. Once the synchronization is completed, it will show the details for the synchronization process. We can now create the scheduled task to synchronize the Active Directory to Apex One as a service. To begin creating a scheduled task, click Start and open the Task Scheduler. On the right side, click on Create Basic Task. Enter the name for the new basic task then click on Next. Under the Task Trigger, select Daily and click on Next. Enter the time of when the synchronization will occur. Select the action to start a program and click on Next. Now, we need to select the program script that will run for the scheduled task. So, click on Browse and navigate to the AD Sync Agent tool. For the arguments, specify dash S for synchronization, then click on Next and Finish. Now that the AD Sync Agent tool has been configured, we can now enable Active Directory authentication. However, 
as a prerequisite, we need to configure Apex Central as a trusted party of the Active Directory Federation Services Server or ADFS. This is the end of the first part of this guide. Play the next part to continue where we left off. Thank you for watching and see you in the next Trend Micro XDR guide.